Hello, my name is Jocelyn. I was, um, I was talking to some people and uh, specifically about fixing vibrato in Melodyne. And they were like, no, you can't do it. You can, in logic, you know, increase what is already there, but you can't fix it. And I was like, I do it fairly often. So this video is to show you how I do it. Um, a couple things with fixing vibrato. It helps if they already have some vibrato. And you can see there is some vibrato here. Uh, let me see if I can play it for you. That's a good one. So vibrato is this like wavy line. And ideally it's consistent. Ideally it is the right amount of sharp and flat. Um, you can fix that, but it's more laborious. Um, the second thing is usually vibrato doesn't start right away. Here's a good example. So sometimes it comes right on. Ah, sometimes it waits a little bit longer. Ah, especially in like Broadway and pop. Um, uh, this is a great example. This is um, this is not so great of an example. Um, this example, you can see how um, it's not quite even. A really even vibrato, I can try to show you. A really even vibrato is like a sine wave. It's very, very consistent. Few people have that even a vibrato, but this is actually a pretty good example. So listen to this. I'm gonna mute the instrumental. Oh, me. So he did vibrato here. He has this little, um, this little like scoopy thing. And then he did vibrato here. It's pretty consistent. He straightened out at the end and then went down, took a little bit of time to tune something like this. I might just go like that and just fix it up. See how it kind of evens it out. And then he had a little, um, a little trill here. Um, and then he straightens out at the end. That's super common to straighten it out. Um, you don't have to, but it is probably more poppy than it is classical. Uh, with classical, you want to like, oh, vibrato goes to the very end of the note. So with this, with his voice, oh, this is a really great, this is a great example. That's a nice one. So like with an example like this, if I just wanted to make it better, bigger, I could go to this um, pitch. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna really exaggerate it. Uh, it's gonna sound like this. Be beautiful. Okay, you wouldn't want to do that. Um, uh, you could straighten it out. Be beautiful. You could kind of uh, straight. Be beautiful. Crap. Um, but. If we take it back to the original, um, okay, so this is the original. I might with this one make it slightly oh, bigger. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's nice. Uh, with to make somebody sound just a little bit more professional, you can make their vibrato just a little bit bigger. You never want it to be. Okay, here's a good example. All right, so so if we are at the center of the pitch, the center of this pitch, we're on D flat, is right in the middle where it's like white. And vibrato is gonna go to the sharpest part of the pitch to the flattest part of the pitch. Um, so if I chop this up, I'm gonna chop it where it's crossing the white line so you can see how we could manually do it. Um, and you see it's like jumping all around, but the white line is like right about there. Okay, so here's the top of the gray line. I bring this up, I'm just eyeballing to the top of the line. And then you see how this bottom of the vibrato, I'm going to take it to the bottom of the gray line. So here's what it sounds like, just me changing it. Be beautiful. Okay, so that to me is fine, but I would like it. Oops. I would like it smoother. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go like that. 
Be beautiful. Okay, because it's now evening out. You saw it has some of those hitches. So this song is in 120. Very, very common. This is one full beat and this is a um, quarter note. So from here to here is a quarter note. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six instances, let's say. One, two, about three rounds of a vibrato for a quarter note. If we're in 120 BPM and we have three vibrato curves, the vibrato um, cycles per second is about six. Um, three, vibrato, three vibrato cycles in a half a second, so six vibrato cycles in, um, in a full second, which is very normal. Um, a normal vibrato cycle is between five and seven. So if you want to use that calculation um, to help you find what kind of vibrato should be, um, usually classical singers often have like a slower vibrato. Um, R&B singers often have a slower vibrato. Um, pop singers often have a faster vibrato, um, but you can do whatever you want. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Okay, so let's take a longer note. What about this guy? It's me the way. All right, so this guy could either be. It's me the way. It could either be um, straight, or you could put consistent vibrato. And you can see like it starts. He tunes to it. He does it straight, and then he kind of puts vibrato, but it's not really big enough to be. Did I change this one? I don't think I changed it. Um, it's not really big enough to be like an actual vibrato. It's more like a shake. And there's nothing wrong with like a shake in the voice. But usually when I'm producing something, everything, every note should sound intentional. Even if it's like weak and wispy, it should sound intentional. And sometimes these kind of notes that aren't really committing to straight tone, aren't really committing to vibrato, are somewhere in too, they're too much in the middle for me. They're too, just like nothing. Amaze me. So it sounds to me like, and, and it sounds to me like he wanted to put vibrato on it. So we're just going to add the vibrato on this guy. Um, all right, so again, we have, um, six cycles, about five to seven cycles per um, per beat. So now we're just going to take up and down and up and down and down. And then we're going to leave this one. This one's going to be in tune. And then actually I'm going to take this one. We're going to leave that as is, but I'm going to just turn this one a little bit more and then I'm just going to even this guy out and I'll probably yeah I'm gonna even these guys out just a little bit okay all right let's see what this sounds like Ace me the way Ace me the way okay Ace me Sound to me sounds better. All right. Um, Ace me the way. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Six. Okay, great. This is very straight. So the other thing I could do is if you're like, oh, I really want the vibrato to start sooner, after you make it so it sounds more even, you can bring it and we're going to make it wide. Let's see what that sounds like. Amaze me the way, amaze me the way. This thing I'm hearing, but it's not the end of the world. Let me just uh, go a little bit smoother. Ama amaze me the way. Yeah, and you can, it sounds to me just like a little bit more um, sophisticated. And let's bring it, let's like go like that. Let's see what happens. Amaze me the way. Okay, I don't like it. All right. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, see, we look at how beautiful that vibrato is. Like this one is great. The only thing I might change is I might just see how the center of the pitch gets a little bit wonky. 
I sometimes will break if it's like if it's vibrato and then it's just like the whole pitch is going flat I'll just break it up in the middle and then bring it, bring it down a bit and then sometimes eyeball it okay let me see if there's anything else this is like a little bit wonky that obviously goes up there all right, all right. see this is lovely lovely vibrato a mm, little bit wonky Okay, so let's go back. Let's do one more and let's change. Where was it? Where was that long now? Okay, this. This to me is like one of those things that's like not quite committing to vibrato and not quite committing to um, straight tone. Only me. Only me. Only me. I probably, let's do this. Let's make it more straight up to only me let's make it like vibrato from like here me. on so like or maybe maybe right here so i would take these you can just double click it i would make them a bit straighter and it's nice to go straight into the um to make it straight into the vibrato because it'll like smoothly go into the shape the shake of the vibrato um and then i'll t probably take these three so i usually cut off the beginning too because for the most part i want it to sound very very natural and sometimes when you mess with the entrance of the note it starts to sound artificial and i don't want that if anything i'll mess with the middle um, before I mess with, mess with the beginning and the end of a note because it stays the most natural. So, so if I straighten that out, I straighten that out. And then let's say I start the vibrato like right there. You can see his little cycles of where he probably wanted vibrato. And again, this, this person has has a natural vibrato anyways so um all right and we're gonna leave this guy at the end alone um so that guy I leave alone this guy I leave alone and then we'll fix everything in the middle all right so the next thing to do is to try to make them all even and they don't have to be perfect which is why i'm not making them um why i am eyeballing it more than anything else because a vibrato if it's too perfect it will start to sound natural and you want a vibrato to sound as natural as possible so again I'm looking to make this at the top of the pitch usually when people start vibrato it's not to its full width right away so like this little guy i'm not going to take to the top of the line and this one i'm not either and this one is like almost almost and then we have these other ones we're taking them to the top of the line yeah good and then when you end a vibrato a lot of the times the same all right, let's see what this sounds like. Only me. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna, it's out of tune, I cannot, oh, whoops. To me. All right, here we go. So this is starting at. Um, Your crazy is beautiful to me. She's on pre. Okay, so. All right, so this is what it looks like. I tend to cut things up a lot just because I want more control over them. Sometimes cutting them up messes them up and that is no good. Um, but a lot of times I have more control over the way the note sounds. One of the things with Melodyne is that you, I always am using my ear. I have a good ear. I've been singing forever. I know what it's supposed to sound like. So you have to depend, even when you're using a program like this, you have to, have to, have to keep working on your ear and keep refining it. And sometimes just like any other mix or production thing, um, you have to go away and then come back. And if there's still anything you hear, 
So here it is one more time. I don't know if I fixed, oops, I don't know if I fixed those notes at all. So, um, yeah. Her crazy is beautiful to me. She's on. Okay, and I would probably fix this now. Beautiful to me. This is what fixing vibrato usually looks like. All right, I hope this is helpful. You can absolutely do it. Um, maybe I'll do one for classical singing. Classical singing tends to be slower and sometimes a little bit bigger. Uh, good luck and it's totally doable.